the sun shall be darkened on April the 20th, 2023. Okay, we're going to have a total solar eclipse. So this um, total solar eclipse that's happening on the 20th of April, brothers and sisters, half a Soros, so um, nine years and five days ago, was the April 15th, 2014, the first blood moon in that blood moon tetrad of 2014, 2015. That's incredible, brothers and sisters, okay? And so we have the sun shall be darkened on the 20th of April, 2023. The moon shall not give her light, brothers and sisters, on the 5th of May, 2023. This is unbelievable. There's going to be a prenumbral lunar eclipse. And look at this. The stars of heaven shall fall on the 22nd and the 23rd of April. Okay. Unbelievable. And also on the 6th and 7th of May. So the stars are going to fall after the sun's darkened and the stars are going to fall after the moon is not going to give her light. Brothers and sisters, I truly think we have reached the season. We're still looking at a very high watch period because this, brothers and sisters, is amazing. This is something that Satan can't confuse or muck up because it is Father God's glory in the heavens. They're calling this week the International Dark Sky Week, April 15th to 22nd. And it's right here. Everything you need to know about the rare and strange hybrid solar eclipse. The eclipse will begin at 9.36 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time on April 19th. And this is the path of the hybrid eclipse. And the maximum eclipse time on the West Coast will be on April 19th at 9.16 p.m. And that makes that April 20th at 4.16 UTC time. This is a rare hybrid eclipse, and it only happens once every decade. A rare celestial event is set to occur on April 20th, a hybrid solar eclipse. This phenomenon is an infrequent occurrence, happening only once a decade on average. It is a unique combination of the three types of solar eclipses that can take place, total, partial, and annular. This is because the sun, earth, and moon must be in very specific positions for a hybrid eclipse to occur. In fact, of the 224 eclipses in the 21st century, only seven are hybrid. And now I'll take you to Stellarium right now. As you can see, the moon just passed what they call Saturn and what they call the constellation Aquarius. And as you go to tomorrow, you can see it approaching Jupiter and the sun, which is in what they call Pisces. And when you get to the 18th, it's closing in. And you go through the hours. And you can see that the moon and Jupiter go into conjunction on the 19th. And when you go through the hours, you can see the moon approaching the sun. And there's the hybrid eclipse. And there's a possible Earth-directed CME that happened yesterday around 10.30 Universal Time. And if the radiation hits Earth, we could see an uptick in earthquakes tomorrow. But here's what's gigantinormous, a blue spiral over Alaska. He said, I was utterly surprised and mystified when I first spotted a distant bright light coming toward me from the northern horizon. At first I thought it was a jet airliner flying through some clouds. Then it took on the spiral shape and grew big fast. This is what he saw. I was shooting frantically with two camera slash tripod setups knowing that this was a unique event and within about seven minutes the apparition swept by and disappeared. And a lot of people are saying that this is SpaceX and he says it right here that he witnessed a SpaceX spiral. Three hours earlier SpaceX launched a Falcon 9 rocket from California's Vandenberg Space Force Base. And every time this happens, they blame it on the SpaceX launches. And here's a video of it right here, what he caught. And here comes the auroras, which are being seen all over the whole world. And green means go. And here it comes. And it was amazing. 
it is really vamping up out there. It is crazy. So the Holy Spirit came over me so strong today. I was on the phone talking to somebody and all of a sudden I felt my leg, my um, foot go like this. And then I was like, hey, I got to get off the phone. I have to, I think the Lord has a message. Um, but anyway, so he, oh, my whole body shook. I don't know if you guys have experienced that in the spirit or not, but um, Jesus is coming soon, guys. I'm telling you, he's coming soon. So much has happened this week, just alone this week. I'm shaking the heavens. I'm shaking the earth. The rock is falling, meteorites, pieces of fragments falling. That was March 22nd, and I heard there's something coming on the 20th. Um, apparently, um, meteorite fell in Israel today or yesterday. And then April 11th, another warning, meteorite showers fall. Okay, so just this week alone, that is a lot that has come true, and I think everything is just going to start piling up. I'm more watching and expecting for the rapture of Jesus to return on uh, April 19th or the 20th or the 21st during True Passover on the Creator's full moon calendar and during or after the rare hybrid solar eclipse. And there's only a few of those rare hybrid solar eclipses per century. And a few brothers and sisters have had dreams or rapture dreams with uh, an eclipse. The eclipse is the sign of Jonah. And in Matthew 12, 39, it says, Jesus, Jesus said, yet no sign will be given to it except the sign of Jonah. And April 20th is the last day of Nisan on the Hebrew calendar. Also, April 21st is, the, is Nisan 16 on the Creator's full moon calendar. And a few brothers and sisters have had dreams with the number 16, including a sister from God's Gifts channel. And I had a dream uh, a few years ago, three years ago uh, during this time. And I saw a cement tombstone with Hebrew writing. And all I can understand and remember was that the date was the 16th. And now that I'm, now I'm starting to believe that the, the, the Hebrew month was Nisan. A few brothers and sisters were shown the number 21 in dreams or visions, including Sister Gigi from Blue Heaven. And April 20th is the last day of Ramadan. And April 20th is the new moon. And a few brothers and sisters have had dreams or rapture dreams with the new dark new moon, including uh, Holy Two Moons channel. And uh, April 20th is a Thursday. And a few brothers and sisters in America have had dreams where we're told by God or Jesus that the rapture would happen on a Thursday. And April 20th is Hitler's birthday. And it is Holocaust Remembrance Week up until April 23rd. And April 21st is the Queen's birthday. And Prince died on April 21st. And April 21st is the same day that Jesus died on the cross on the Creator's full moon calendar. Jesus is coming very, very soon, folks. Don't be prepared for tomorrow. Be prepared for today. Keep looking up, church. I can see the finish line. I'm sure some of you can too. Time is up. Thank you.